All right. Well, uh, I'm back from a two week bout of COVID. So <laughs> hopefully my brain still works a little bit. Uh, totally not over it yet, but I'm going to try to go out in the garage again and do some things. So uh, working on this again, uh, I found a burnt out resistor. It was a 68 ohm resistor input uh, uh, loading input into a amplifier. Uh, so I replaced that didn't help any. Um, but uh, so what I've done is um, I've tried to locate. Remember the um, you got a nice sine wave above 300 megahertz, but below 300 megahertz, it was all square and really, really ugly looking. <clears throat> so um, so here 500 megahertz, uh, we have that. 400, 300, 200, 100, 10, 10 megahertz. So uh, let me show you what I'm doing. Okay, so that's looking really, really good. So what I did was, uh, this is the final amplifier. The final amplifier feeds the, um, final amplifier gives you plus 13 dBm and it feeds the attenuator, so the attenuator goes down from there. Um, and uh, so this is uh, the beast that drives the amplifier. So uh, I backed up one, so you can see the uh, uh, connection here is broken. Th these, these two points are generally connected together. So I'm going one back in the series, I'm looking at the output of this unit, and uh, everything looks lovely. Uh, so yeah, 10 megahertz, if we can even do one megahertz, yeah, no problem. One megahertz, 100 kilohertz, yeah, see, it's working really good. Uh, so, um, I like it. Um, which means, right, so that means that there's something wrong with this unit here. And uh, we'll have to open it up and see what's, uh, see what's going on there. All right, I have the unit out here. Uh, we'll need to take out the, uh, oh, that's the only thing that holds this case on are these three little, three little screws on the SMCs. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay. And then to open these up, you just give it a push. Maybe put it on the bench, give it a push. Come on. You can do it. Oh, I guess this one also needs this taken off. That's kind of dumb. I don't know what that, oh, that's, yeah, okay. There we go. So this is a, just a cover for this adjustment here. And that adjustment there is, looks like a little resistor, a potentiometer. So there's something wrong with this board. Um, take a look inside of it. Um, yeah, we have a one, two, three stage amplifier there and, um, tantalums can go bad. Uh, oh, here's, here's some of those ugly, uh, ugly capacitors. Maybe one of those has gone bad. Yeah. Th th those, those, like every single one that I've run across, these have failed. Um, it's kind of interesting, you know, I think these are 10 microfarad and that's a 10 microfarad. It's like, why didn't they just use one? I don't know. Kind of strange. Um, yeah, let's test these, uh, capacitors out. <clears throat> that one looks okay. Uh, uh, yeah, they both seem okay. How about this tantalum here? Seems okay. Huh. Can I reach this tantalum? Might be hard to probe. You guys are off screen, aren't you? Uh, let's see. There's like a reach in here. Well, I don't think there's anything obviously wrong on this board, so I'm just going to have to uh, take a look at the schematic and 
start probing around and seeing what there is to see. The uh, symptom was that it's uh, not working at low frequency and it's working at high frequency. You would think maybe there's a bad capacitor somewhere, but that just could be a bad something or other somewhere. Yeah. All right, so uh, we know this is an amplifier and we know that goes in's is good and the goes out's is bad. Um, so it must be something wrong with this thing. And um, it is pretty self-evident what goes on here. Let me zoom down a bit. All right, there's a little uh, circuit here, a little PC board. It actually looks like a Teflon board. And so there's amplifier, amplifier, amplifier. And uh, one side goes in's, one side goes out's. And then this little board over here, which is a leveling circuit. So it monitors how much power is going in and how much power is coming out and it adjusts it. Um, <clears throat> so that's all this board does. So let's look at the schematic. All right, here we go. Uh, so here's the Gozenza, here's the goes out. So, uh, some of that's sampled here goes into this uh, differential amplifier looks at the levels and it adjusts some voltage it, it kind of goes into here into these varactors which I think are uh, the leveling circuit um, and there's some tr transistors along the way but <laughs> but uh, this schematic has nothing to do with this board even though it's it's the M10W it's it yeah some people have commented that the schematics are only uh, a suggestion, <laughs> that they vary from the actual unit. Okay, so that schematic's got to go. <clears throat> All right, I did find this schematic online. And this is for Rev 9, or actually it's the Dash 9. I don't know if it's a Rev or a version or whatever. This is a Rev, a Dash 9, Rev B. So, yeah, uh, so they change this thing all the time. Um, this one seems to be a Dash 7. And, but it's similar. There is a little PC board here that's the leveling circuit. And it uses an op amp this time instead of a differential amplifier. So here's the op amp. The op amp is a different part number. Okay, well, that's fine. You can use a different op amp. Uh, this board here has two transistors on it. There are no transistors on this board. Um, there's one. So where's the other one? Uh, unless they're using one as a diode. I don't think so. Anyway. Uh... I think this schematic also doesn't match this board. And I also know that if you count the transistors, one, two, three, and you're done. One, two, three, uh, four. <laughs> now, where'd that guy come from? And he's part of the, he's part of, he's the final amplifier. He's the final, final thing going out. Um, or is he? Let's see here. This goes out. Go through that thing. Goes out. This reaches in. This is biased down. Oh, I have no idea. This is weird. Anyway, I don't think these have anything to do with each other. Unfortunately, and uh, yeah. Uh, and I don't even think these are actually what's going on here. Um, so, we're going to have to sort of guess a bit. I'm going to see if I can't get this operational on the bench outside of the, uh, outside of the unit. We'll try to get this running and inject a signal and look at the output. And then we can go along and uh, probe it along the way and see if maybe we can figure out what the heck is going on. We might pull that, we might pull this op amp out also just to make sure the op amp is working. Although that wouldn't account for the symptoms I've got, I don't think though. But that'd be an easy thing to do. All right, you know this little project I did, this really cheap and nerdy uh, uh, op amp tester just to make sure your op amp's good or bad? Well, we can use it. So let's uh, 
pop them in here and uh, yeah, we get flashy lights. That means that uh, both op amps are doing something. So I claim the op amp is good. We can put it back in circuit and go on our merry way. Although it's not been so merry lately. Okay, let's keep a looking. All right, so I have a goes in, so it goes out. So, so the, uh, the input is coming from uh, this. Right now it's set to 175 megahertz. And uh, here's the output. So that's working good. We have a nice, uh, looks sort of like a sine wave. Yeah, okay. Now, if I get this all on camera here, here we go. All right, let me change the shades exposure a bit here. All right. So 175, if I go down, go down to 120 megahertz, if I change ranges here, uh, here's 100 megahertz. It's looking funny. 71, uh, 64. Let's go here to uh, 28 megahertz. Yeah, something's happening funny at 28 megahertz. Let's go up here. Yeah, eh, it's starting to yeah, it's starting to clip. I don't know, there's all sorts of weird things happening at lower frequencies. But at uh, higher frequencies, it seems to be happy. Whoa, look at that. It seems to be very happy at higher frequencies. Uh, so this is 200, 266. I don't think this will go any higher than that. Yeah, I think that's the fastest this thing, this thing will go down here. So anyway, uh, it is acting like it does uh, in the machine. So now maybe we can probe it and uh, see what's going on. So yeah, if we can probe this thing, maybe stage by stage, we'll take a look at that. All right, let me get things set up. Okay, uh, just poking around, having fun. Um, I noticed these two wires are on little sockets, so I pulled that wire out and it did funny things, so I put it back in. And then I pulled this wire out. Now this is just hooked up to the uh, leveling circuit, so um, I don't care if it's leveled or not, so I pulled it out just to get it rid of it out of the circuit. And uh, this is, <clears throat> uh, 19 megahertz. So we can go up to uh, 45 megahertz, 90 megahertz, 200 megahertz, um, and we're staying staying as a sine wave now. 19, 10 megahertz, very nice. 4 megahertz, 2 megahertz. There's one megahertz. So yeah, so the leveling circuit is to blame. All right. So something's funny, oh, sunny, something's funny in, uh, in the leveling circuit. Well, let's see if we can't figure that one out. <laughs> 